This is the Trump administration's new face of cruelty. He is the one who said on the PBS NewsHour that 800,000 federal workers who are not being paid are better off. He actually used the phrase better off because he said they're now on vacation. His name is Kevin Hassett. And he seems to think that smiling is the best way to get you to believe him because you will never see him speak publicly without smiling. He is Donald Trump's chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors. He is one of the least distinguished economists ever to hold that position. And judging by his public comments, he is by far the cruelest person ever to hold that position. They have the vacation but they don't have to use their vacation days. And then they come back and then they get their back pay, then they're in some sense, they're better off. Are they all so oblivious? Are they all cruel? Is that a job requirement for working for Donald Trump? It's not like vacation because when you're on vacation from your job, you still get paid for your job so you can make your car payments and your mortgage payments and your rent payments and it's not like vacation for air traffic controllers and TSA agents and many others, Coast Guard officers, who are still going to work every day and not being paid for their life-saving work. They're not better off. No one is better off in this shutdown. Joining our discussion now, Jennifer Palmieri, former White House Communications Director for President Obama and a former Communications Director for Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. Adam Gentleson is also with us. He's a former Deputy Chief of Staff, Jacinda Harry Reid, and the Director of Public Affairs for Democracy Forward. And uh, Jennifer, uh, it, is, it is just astonishing to me. I mean, I've watched Kevin Hassert uh, just make the most ridiculous statements I've ever heard an economist make from the White House about the exploding uh, uh, national debt under President Trump, which President Trump promised to reduce the exploding deficit under President Trump with the tax cuts, a deficit that President Trump promised to reduce. Kevin Hassett has said a lot of horribly embarrassing things just at a professional level uh, as an economist. But this, this about vacation uh, takes him to a whole new level. And it, what it betrays is that they think this is all a game, right? The shutdown to them is all a game of brinksmanship, and they get caught up in it, and it's about, um, it's about getting a big win for themselves and for uh, President Trump's supporters. And, you know, what's, uh, I think he's pretty far removed from the concerns that everyday families and uh, federal employees have who aren't making mortgage payments uh, this week, who aren't able to make their car payments. And, you know, if you fly a lot, like I do, TSA employees who are showing up and being doing a great job and being really courteous um, in the face of long lines and uncertainty if they will ever get paid. And uh, it just shows, I think it really betrays how they treat all of this as if it's a game. And uh, Adam, uh, I, I flew last night and my my plane took off on time. It landed early thanks to air traffic controllers who have to worry about how they're going to make their mortgage payments, who have to worry about how they're going to make their car payments, tuition payments possibly for some kids they might have in school. Uh, these same air traffic controllers are the people I'm counting on uh, to get my plane uh, back on the ground safely. They're doing a remarkable job. There's nothing like vacation here for them. No, that's right. And, you know, one of the things that we see happening here, I think, is the Republican myth of government is running smack hard into the reality of what government really is. And, you know, government is a force for good in people's lives across the board. And from the you know, TSA uh, workers you guys are talking about um, to people who process tax returns, um, you know, th these are not jobs that are often heralded, but they're incredibly important to our daily lives, to our safety, to our prosperity. And uh, one of the things the Trump administration is trying to do here is keep some of the sort of more high profile and essential parts of the government open. Some of them are funded by an appropriations bill, but other parts, they're just, other parts of the government are just keeping open um, illegally. They're trying to keep the national parks open because they don't want to deal with the public relations disaster that comes from closing the national parks. The organization I work for, we actually think that's illegal and we ask for an IG investigation into that. But that's what the Trump administration is trying to do is avoid the sort of nasty parts of shutting the government down to try to convey this myth that government doesn't really matter when in reality it's actually extremely important.
And, and Jennifer, uh, Kevin Hassett uh, makes a living in his job there in the White House by basically saying uh, better off is like his motto for everything, that the farmers who are suffering under the Trump tariffs that are preventing them from uh, reaching export markets they normally reach are better off. Uh, he'll make that kind of argument all the time. Uh, and he, he will do this with anything uh, that the Trump administration, any horribly perverse economic policy that the Trump administration has gotten itself into. Uh, but for him to sit there and actually talk about these federal workers uh, this way uh, is just a new height for me. I, I have known some of the Republican uh, chairs of economic advisors for presidents, uh, honorable economists with whom you can have reasonable disagreements about policy outcomes. Uh, I've never heard anything like this from them. Before right. the Trump other, administration. Other, other economists I don't necessarily agree with, but Republican heads mm -hmm. of the Council of Economic Advisors, Republican administrations, they have a different theory about how the economy can work best than I do. But then you have someone like Kevin Hassett who comes in, who who is merely there to spin whatever um, he needs to in order to make a um, whatever whatever the situation is be positive for um, for Trump, and that this is, but this is really, I think this is particularly telling about how little they um, care on the about the impact that this has on um, actual Americans who uh, are going. You know, very few people in America can go are uh, are not living paycheck to paycheck anymore, and to not have any kind of certainty as to whether when this thing will end. And you certainly don't have any leadership from the White House about when it will end. Um, and uh, uh, and facing the sense that they may never they may never get the they, there's no certainty they'll get this last pay back um, either. Adam Johnson, uh, having worked in the Senate as you have, I don't know if you see this uh, the way I do now. Uh, it, it is, as far as I'm concerned, it is now the McConnell shutdown because I've never seen a Senate majority leader who would stand for this conduct in the White House that Mitch McConnell is accepting. Uh, any previous Senate majority leader under any previous president, even if the president was in his own, own party, uh, would have taken up these House bills uh, and gotten this government reopened over a veto if necessary. Yeah, that's right. I mean, to be completely clear about this, Mitch McConnell could end this shutdown tomorrow. He could bring uh, a variety of different funding bills to the floor to let them pass. But one of one of the bills he could bring to the floor is the bill that passed his own Senate just a few weeks ago uh, unanimously. So, you know, he could bring that to, bill to the floor tomorrow. It would pass the House immediately. He would have to face the prospect that it could get be vetoed by President Trump. But since this bill passed in December by 100 to zero, he could override that veto and end the shutdown.